Hey everyone and welcome back to Style by McKenzie. My name is McKenzie and today I am going to be doing a haul, a try on haul with Dakotu. If you guys have watched my videos before you would know that I have collabed with Dakotu a couple of times and I've shared some of their stuff on both my blog and YouTube. So today I have 10 pieces of clothing from them. I have six pieces of actual clothing and then four swimsuits and I'm going to be reviewing them, doing a little try on and if you guys check out the blog you'll be able to see some of these pieces styled and what they look like more in depth on. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop right in. Also, I did a haul with them a while back that had, was only high-waisted swimsuits. So if you guys are looking for high-waisted swimwear, be sure to check that video out and you'll have five awesome options. I am going to start with the swimsuits today just because I know that everyone loves seeing the swimwear. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with this bathing suit, which is light blue. This I know this comes in a couple of colors and it's under $20. It's got a smocked top and it does have like a little bit of wire on either side. So this is a smocked top that does give you some support. There are pads in this, although they are removable. They are white and yeah, so this is padded. Like I said, there are straps on this and these straps are removable as well as adjustable, which is the best kind of strap. I prefer a strap like this because you can wear it while you're in the water and then take it off if you're someone who doesn't like tan lines. I don't mind the tan line, but um, I know some people do. So that's an awesome option, you know. So that's what the top looks like. It is pretty wide for a tube top, keep that in mind, but um, so it is more of like a cropped style and then the bottoms are high-waisted. When you put this on, it actually doesn't leave too much of your skin exposed. These are high-waisted bottoms, just again that same light blue and white little floral bottoms. It's kind of like a very dainty print, like this print reminds me of being young, like a young kid and it's got a little ruffle around it to really just accentuate that waist. This is not a high cut um, high waisted bottom. I know some of them cut really high up on the hips exposing your low waisted tan line. This does not do that and the butt is pretty full coverage. So great suit for the price. The next suit I have, the next two suits that I'm about to share are not my favorite suits from them. Um, they're probably like my least favorite of all like 10 swimsuits I have from them. However, they look a lot better on than they do when I just hold them up. So just wait, they look super cute in the pictures that I took. This is the first top and this is like three different patterns. There's a floral, a polka dot, and then stripes. So it's kind of like unconventional. It's got a little cutout right here, like at the bottom of your chest, which is like where I actually sweat the most. So I kind of like having that little cutout right there. There are super thick straps and they are adjustable. They do come out on the back but they do not in the front. So I do believe that you can cross this swimsuit if you so desire. I do not prefer a cross back swimsuit. I like just a classic strap um, because I find that it gives me a little bit more support, but that's up to you. I got a size small in this and I am a 34B and this fits perfectly. So I got a small in the other suit as well. The part of this suit that I'm just not 100% sold on it are the bottoms. They are, they look like this. They're floral with then the black and white polka dots. I just noticed that it's just not the best quality. There are, like the seams here just don't line up. Um, and there are like, the sides have a little cutout on it so it does expose some of that hip. It is a cute style, um, but it just feels a little small. Like, I don't know, it fits me fine, but I feel a little revealing, I guess. I don't know, like maybe they're a little low on me, I don't know. The butt is rather cheeky for any of the styles. Most of the styles from Deco 2 are very, very full coverage. However, I did cho choose this one because I wanted to see what some of their other bottoms would be like. These are definitely on the cheekier side. Um, and this is white, like I said. So that might be part of it, is that white isn't always the most forgiving color um, in a swimsuit, but again, under $20. The next swimsuit was a little large on me, which is why I wasn't a huge fan of it. This is a size small and it's trying to be like that lettuce ruffle print that cinches on the butt, you know, that's like supposed to make your butt look good. These are full coverage bottoms and um, they just are a little too big on me, so it's definitely not making my butt look very 
great because they are a little too big um, but this is like a true s small like usually I would get an extra small um, but they are like a fun little purple print and they do have like this little cross detailing in the front I don't know if you can see that if the camera's gonna wash it out but um, it does have like that fun little cross the top I actually really like on this I think that it's a cute fit and I like the style of it it again has like more of that like lettuce print and it's got two knots on it having a little cutout right there just that purple with white and black polka dots along the bottom the top is just like a really cute style I don't like t tops that tie in the front um, because I don't know I just feel like they show a little too much like it's I don't know it's just not my favorite I don't like the cleavage I prefer something like this where it's like a fake knot but it's an actual top because it gives you some support there are pads in this they are removable they are white pads unlike some of their other suits that have black pads and these are self tying um, straps which I know is awesome for some people it really does allow you to be whatever chest size and wear the swimsuit so great top just not a huge fan of the bottoms I'd probably wear that with black bottoms um, though so that I could get away with it the next suit is my favorite suit by far like this is so stinking cute and I have this style in several different colors I actually shared this specific style in like three different colors um, in prints in my last deco 2 haul which will be linked below but this one's red and white stripes with red pom-poms along the bottom like just like red pom-pom trim this is a triangle style and it does have white cups you have to note with the triangle style it tends to be a little more revealing you do have a little bit more side boob and a little bit more cleavage but um, I think the top is super cute the pads on this one are really nice this top is a lot thicker and better quality than this style that I got in a different color um, so the red and white stripe was awesome again I got a size small if you are in between sizes I would recommend going up in this one just because like I said triangle top do tend to run a little bit small and the bottoms look like this it's got the mesh the netting the mesh and then pom-pom trim along the front again this is not a high cut um, high waist bikini it does fully cover your hips so if your midriff is not your favorite area this bathing suit is very forgiving it does have a full coverage butt so you're not exposing those cheeks just a really cute bathing suit it kind of reminds me of a candy cane but I really like this I wish that I had had this around 4th of July because this would be an awesome suit for then Memorial Day Labor Day you know like when you want to be a little festive I definitely recommend this one I know it's under $20 and this one's a steal Next I am going to share some clothing and the first thing I'm actually wearing which is this super cute leopard baby doll dress. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons down it and these are actual buttons like they work. Um, you can choose like how much boob you show based on if you want to leave them unbuttoned or not. It is rather shapeless because that's the kind of dress that it is and there are two pockets. It's a really soft material. It's not like that 100% polyester feel to it. It might be polyester but it doesn't have that like scrunchy scratchy like cheap feel that a couple of the other things did have so I really like this one I know it's under $20 super cute and my cheetah scrunchy matches perfectly I'm going to alternate with good things and bad things not that anything's like terrible but there are things that I like better than others this top is super cute it is a white um, off the shoulder top it does have elastic along the bottom as well so it does like kind of hug you a little bit there unlike some other tops this is double lined but it's a very sheer double lining and it's only double lined on the front of it not the back of it so uh, you would definitely have to wear a nude bra with this I would probably wear a sticky bra that way you wouldn't be able to see the back because the back is so sheer but the front like is a little bit thicker so sticky bra would be awesome then you would have no straps in the back the sleeves are really billowy they've got like a three-tiered little baby doll um, bell sleeve feel to it a super cute top I think with jeans and sandals this would be like a really cute simple date outfit um, doesn't look like you're trying too hard but it's still really pretty
The next dress is fun because it has tassels on it, but it's not my favorite dress just because it does have like that cheaper satiny kind of material to it. This is a dress with a v-neck and when I say like those things about the material, do keep in mind that you're really, you're getting what you pay for though. Like this is rather cheap stuff so it's not breaking the bank if you're only gonna wear these things a few times like they will hold up on you so don't think that I'm like hating on it all together I will still wear this stuff but I just want to be honest with you guys this is a rather low v-neck and it is lined with tassels and then this cute little drawstring that you can tie together or you can leave hanging down um, it is like coral and then the dress itself is like light pink and maroon like little squares on it the sleeves have an elastic around them these are obviously longer than a regular short sleeve so it is but it's not a three-quarter length and then there's elastic here that you can kind of scrunch this up to make it more of a blouse style and then the skirt has tassels along the bottom as well so I really like the tassels tassels are one of my favorite details I think that I what I really do love about Dakotu is they do trim really well they have lots of trimmed like they have lots of um, tassel trimmed things lots of pom-pom trims and they all have held up really well I really like that about their site um, that they do incorporate those fun little details so a winner on that you guys will kind of this like definitely looks better when you put it on you'll see in a couple of seconds The next top is super cute and it is a navy smocked top. I've been wearing smocked tops like crazy this summer because they're super easy to just throw on and go. They look great with white denim shorts. Um, this one has just like regular straps to it. You could wear them more off the shoulder if that was more your vibe. I like them just right on. That way you can wear a normal bra with it. But like I said, this is navy with a pink floral and it's got a little peplum, which I do like because I like tube tops when they're all smocked, but I think that the little peplum just adds a fun little flirty detail to it. So yeah. Again, I would probably wear this with denim and a pair of white sneak or night well, not white sneakers, but you could wear sneakers. I'm just not a sneakers person. I'd probably wear this with white sandals and a fun pair of pink earrings, and that would be super cute. The next piece I have is definitely my dud of the entire haul, and it is this jumpsuit. It's actually a super cute jumpsuit. It's just so large. I ordered this in a size small, and it's like huge. It's a halter style that is really fun, and then it's got pant legs that are very, very, very wide. That is the only problem with this, is that the pant legs are too wide, um, so it kind of looks silly on me, but again, really cute. It has pockets on it, and it does have a little belt so that way you can tie, you can accentuate that waistline, really make yourself look long legged and skinny. Um, I just, this runs really big so um, definitely size down in this if you are going to get it and if you are on the 5'2 petite size like me you may want to skip out on this but that's your call totally. Look at how wide these things are. <laughs> Okay, if I was like 5'6 or had a really long torso, this would be really cute, but like the crotch is down here, so it just does not fit me right, but it is super cute. Like the linen material is like really nice. The last thing I got are these super cute overalls. I love these. They are like a jersey knit kind of material and they're super fun. Like I love this for a casual day, but you still look so adorable. I'll probably bring these to school with me just because they are an easy like casual kind of to class outfit. Well, at least for like the first week while it's still warm. Camo, they've got little silver, um, what are these things called? Clips, hooks. My brain is drawing a blank. But anyways, they are adjustable, so you can do that. It's got an elastic waist and one pocket in the back and then two really nice pockets in the front. The drawstring is real, so you can cinch them in to make them a little more flattering. But you definitely do have to wear something underneath this, like a black tank top would be really cute underneath this. But overall, a really great piece. I like these a lot.
So yeah, that is going to be all for today's haul with Dakota. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, I will have the links to everything below as well as any coordinating blog posts where I might be wearing some of these pieces linked so that you can check it out. I will have my discount code in the comments below. It does change frequently. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks guys. See ya.